Hi there, my name is Laramie Downs. I'm a Dev Mountain student doing my Foundations Capstone. Welcome to Galactic Trove. Galactic Trove is a multi-view website that is built around tracking your Magic the Gathering card collection. To begin, we'll go ahead and just register for our site. So you can go ahead and enter your information. You can go ahead and create yourself a password. And of course, if you don't have the correct password, it'll let you know. Once registered, you can go ahead and log into the site. And from there, you're logged in. Once logged in, you can go ahead and start building your collection. So I'm going to go ahead, double click up here, and just name my collection Dev Mountain. So we have a couple fields that we use to track your card information so that over here, this blank area, we can populate once you've inputted a card. So to begin, I've got a card in hand that I'm just going to kind of go through and it's called Austria's Command. And as you can see, we've got an autocomplete feature for our names so that you can kind of go through and as you're typing, you can actually uh, type whatever uh, portion of it, click on it, and then you've got your card name. Save a little time, a little effort um, of entering hundreds of thousands of cards sometimes. We've got the same thing for the sets. And from there, you can go ahead and enter how many of those cards you have. So I just got one in front of me. Uh, this is a quality indicator of how good of quality your card is in. And then also, how much did you pay for the card if you did? Uh, this is not a mandatory field, but you can put it in there if you want to keep track of your purchase prices. From there, we can go ahead and add this card to our collection so we can see it's reflected here. Uh, and now we can actually see what the current value of the card is. So currently the card is worth $3.73 and now we can see that I've got $2.73 of equity in my single card. Say I ever got rid of this card or I gave it to a friend or I lost it somehow, I can go ahead and update that in my collection to reflect and delete that out of there. So my collection to perform this uses Scryfall API as my main API for pulling price data and card information for my autocompletes. I also use Axios, Bcrypt, Cores, Express, Postgres, and SQLize to keep track of my information and just make my program work. This is a little behind the scenes of how my collection autocompletes and how my uh, value grabber actually works and it looks super simple only 140 lines of code but it is the most difficult thing I've ever worked through so far here at Dev Mountain but that's all I have time for thank you for taking a look at Galactic Trove with me and I hope you have a great day